I would have liked to be an athlete. That would have been yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be a jock. No, I didn't really need a daughter because girls, they cry. Peeling the onion. We're peeling the onion. We're still peeling. Yeah, the there's onion. no core. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's the super ate, I'm me over here, and I'm the super mommy today because I finally captured Porgy. Ayan, nahanap Hello. ko na yung inyong most requested guest na sabi niya, ipagtatanggol niya yung sarili niya sa mga akusasyon ng bunso niyang kapatid na si Governor Matt doon sa Ilocos. Ayo. So what can you say about your childhood as the super kuya? Man of the year. Super kuya. I guess, yeah. Kuya of two boys. It's it's a fun way to grow up. Pero parang how come you were so much bigger than them and then you were, the two were small and they were like fighting each other and then so fighting you. I took you all the food, you know? <laughs> It's the rule. If you're a kuya, you're the bully. You take all the food. Then you, you take, take all the food. Yeah, it's always slower. like war for food, right? Until they're bigger than you and then it's over. And then he's bigger than you now. So Lana. tapos na. Lana. Eh, pa, paano yung kwento niya? that was made to drink chrysanthemum tea that was actually pee-pee pala. Let the whole Philippines know that Borgi <laughs> made me drink pee. <laughs> made me drink pee. Eww! So think think when you're young, you go through a lot of stuff and you experiment. There, there, there are no? some other associates. I uh, perform this terrible task. Oh, sabi niya, sabi niya, merong I will take the blame. I did that. I did that. You're so bad. So, what does it feel like now that you're a dada? Uh, now, I don't know how you did it with three boys. <laughs> <laughs> really no clue. Having one boy is already enough. More than enough but, right now. No, but you were a very good kuya. Getting ready, you're already making everyone's breakfast because I'd like pass out. I couldn't handle this much uh, work anymore. He'd make the food for everybody and uh, get everyone to school somehow. I'm really mataka. What can you say about your nerdy attorney, Michael? Michael is uh, the crybaby in your family. Crybaby! He's very... Cute and super sweet, but cried all the time. Cried all the time. <laughs> I know. What was he? I think he was colicky as a baby. You know why? He's the Edsa baby. Yes. He's the baby that had. He also to... points that out occasionally. He points that out all the time. He has allergies. He's the smallest. He's the <laughs> right. He's really so kawawa. He has lousy eyes. He's always blind. Has all your allergies. Oh, oh, kaya nga kawawa nga yun ni, eh, kasi yun Poor ang uh, 1986 diba? What is your greatest heartbreak? Ayan. Greatest. You can answer, not answer. Heartbreak, regret. Uh, I'll put a gun to your head. Not, you have to answer. Not really trying to be an athlete. What do you mean? I would have liked to be an athlete. I would have been an athlete. Yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be a jock. That would Everybody nice. wanted. That's the dream was to be a jock. Playing but, a game but, for a living. But, but what happened? But you were not good enough. You're not disciplined all, enough. All of the You're above. not talented all of the enough. Above. All <laughs> Everything. Of, there's a moment in your career where you realize that's why they make. Ding kagaling niyo nung bata eh when you were little, de ba? You were so good in golf. Then you became a real tennis it's master. A, it's okay. And then you could race. You could run. Oh, no, 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 it's different. And you you know the difference. <laughs> You know well, the difference. Well, you, between the elite athletes yeah, and yeah, yeah, the kamote people. Yeah, you know the people. difference. You know the difference. Eh, kamote lang so, kayo. That, that was a little heartbreaking to realize as a child. But, oh, uh, that's your biggest uh, heartbreak. Yeah. Hindi, hindi pala that's pwede right. maging jock for life. Not good <laughs> enough. So, ano yung next career choice? Passion na lang. Yeah, siyempre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit tawag sa ng kapatid mo Bombay? Lagi well, ka daw na, na laging may binibenta. Ba't ka laging may binibenta? Maliban pa sa ukay. That's true. Why do I always sell so? You're always selling stuff. Since you were five. She's five years old, seven years old. I remember bibigyan kita ng allowance in the beginning. Let's say it was 10, 100 escudos in the beginning of the week. No, Monday. Pag balik mo ng, uh, ng Friday, mas marami ka ng pera. 150 escudos. Ano ginagawa? Ano ginagawa? Is, gina that, is, is that a, a bit? Parang that's a female trade, right? To be good with money. <laughs> <laughs> Borg is very female. Borg is my daughter. You, you, that's what I was gonna say. You had three boys. And I have a daughter. Do you, you have? It's okay. You didn't need a real daughter. No, I didn't really need a daughter because girls they cry, and then they get tired, and they complain. 
<laughs> no, not all girls. That's not true. That's not true. I don't. I'm a macho girl. So, boys are okay. Because every time you ask them, are you feeling sick? No. Are you yeah, tired? We, no. We, we Do you want to go pretend. home? No. Even if they're half dying, right? Even if there's blood on the floor. So, as long as you're ambulatory. Kaya pa, kaya pa. Considering all the issues now surrounding the family, what mm. bothers you? Does it bother you? Did you realize that? Because nasa abroad tayo nung 86 yeah, hanggang 1992 ata. Think, Tapos nung pag-apak mo dito, alam mo ba? Did you know half what was going on? No, not at all. I mean, up, up to now, I think sometimes I still don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I, definitely when we were that young. That makes two of us. Yeah, I know, right? It's all so malabo. When we were young, we had no idea. Mm. Just coming to visit family. That's right. Family. Just Mama Meldy. Yeah, that's and all then, we thought about. I remember you were so cheeky because parating nagpaparetrato yung mga tao sa lola mo. Mm. Tapos sabi mo, is that your job to take pictures with people? <laughs> it <laughs> looked like your so job. You were so cheeky. You're yeah. so good at it. You're so good at it. You're so machaga. <laughs> oh, how do you describe me that was a mom? Oh my gosh. This is, this is the Oprah question, right? This is the Oprah question. You're in trouble. As a mom. Okay, okay, okay. I won't listen. We felt very lucky Aww. i would say because you you allowed us to be Looking ourselves at you. you know we, we had friends where you know there are expectations from parents and pressure to be a certain way but i think maybe because of the way you grew up also you always allowed us to just find our own way no i wanted not to be the helicopter tiger mom whatever and i didn't have time i was working yeah, yeah i was a working different. solo parent I get that just now too, too hard i get that now it's like too hard so i just chose your or battles like your hair story and your pants story. Di ba? Because you go to school and they say, "Ah, oh, boy, his hair too long." And then you went to Ateneo, he's wearing these big hip hop pants. Di ba? That was the uso non with all your underwear showing. Yes, and then I'm like, "Why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell your son? He's so awful." And I'm like. Eh, it's just hair. He's kind to animals and he's good to people and he takes care of his brothers. All the important things are there. It's okay. I don't, I don't care about the hair and the pants. That's like small, small. Hayam mo na. Leave it, leave it. Eh, yun ganon. So, ayaw ko na masyado na magulo. They're making me ask you who your favorite son is now. My favorite son? I have no favorite son. Borg is my favorite daughter. Isn't that obvious? Hey. Yeah. Uh, Mama Meldy, what can you say about your Lola? She's so happy because Uncle Bong Bong is now president. Well, wa watching watching Mama Meldy uh, kind of, it's it's amazing to see how people change when. She's so happy. Yeah, the, the, she became so young. The, the pandemic was not easy for, for most people, especially at that age. Right? Yeah, so correct. I think for her being stuck in the house. And she's so social. Not seeing people. Being people yeah, it's friends, the absolute yeah. worst. So yeah. This is something that. As the oldest life. apple, you absorb Mama Melody's angst, right? What is your biggest achievement? I don't know. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. That's a big point. The best is yet to come. Nuts. Whatever that is. I don't know. What am I proudest of? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I don't know the answer. Mm, you're, you're a legislator now. Yeah, I'm a legislator now, but um, yeah. That means you're still going. I'm still going. She's not done, guys. I'm not done yet. The best <laughs> is yet to come. Done. I enjoyed very much uh, two things. One was uh, the Kabataan Barangay, uh, heading up the village youth movement. That was fun for me until we kicked up to 3 million uh, members. I enjoyed that. Masaya yun. Yeah. Coming back to the Philippines after years and years. I still na see nasa the abroad. Now. That one was fun. The other thing that was really fun was being governor of Ilocos Norte. Because being a legislator, it's not a good thing. Because it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. But when you're LGU, ka, even if you're a big fish in a little bowl, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good So I'm very proud of the fact that we have a good thing. poverty rate. Uh, through tourism, through call center and employment, less migration also. So it's not a good uh, that was fun because I got something going. And of course, I have to say the requisite, my biggest achievement are my three wonderful sons. Do you see yourself in me? That's weird, right? I don't know. Do you? They say some part of the face. Oh, yeah. Physically, probably. I think we have the same strong jaw, that for sure. <laughs> do we? Yeah. I think that part's the same. Yeah. What else? I can see it in the monitor. Here, pa. Yeah. Here, pa. All the squareness. All the width. He's very artsy-fartsy. Our wit. 
the artsy fartsiness, the the, the fact that I thought that the, word was I'm laos na hippie, hipster pala ang tawag don. Oh, the under generations hippie. Yeah, like oh. that, like that. Yung ganon, yung walang pake. Ako yun eh. Tapos siya hipster pala ang tagline ngayon. So you make me proud. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's been a... It's taking too long to answer. Have, have, having Ayan a mom that was once like a stay-at-home mom that was like the president of the PTA, that was always present yeah, at school, true. making that's all the meals. Oh, kaya nga, bilib na bilib ako sa stay-at-home mama. Now, Hindi na laik-laik nilang gear kaya. Now, now a legislator kaya. mom, it's like, you know, we've seen every kind of person, which is kind of amazing. It's quite proud to, to Are be Are you trying to, to say I am schizo, bipolar? You're just layered, mom. <laughs> You're an onion. We're no. still peeling the onion. We're peeling the onion. We're still peeling. Yeah, the onion. there's no core. <laughs> there's, no, there's no real part it's of the just onion. It's empty inside it's just once you empty. get there. Mm -hmm. In there, it's all true. It's like you. We're not so different that way. No, all the bits are real. No, but that's, I think, for especially being a parent now, you kind of very, you feel differently about your upbringing looking at it as a parent really yeah and for sure. the conclusion is the conclusion is it's it's great to have had a, a mother with with layers because it makes you feel human so i'm very proud <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to discuss this further with the other two brothers later so we wind this up and all the accusations made like cry baby attorney michael Super. defend yourself Super. and uh matt for being more matako ever I think we're gonna have to have a confrontation with all three boys once and for all, diba? So did you learn anything about parenting from me? <laughs> since, such a, since I was such a strange parent. Well, you managed to raise three very different people. Yeah. And that's something I always think about because... You had a great deal of freedom. Yes. Because I'm the truth, I don't want to be political. I just want to make cartoons and movies and I don't have any stories. Tugtog. Yun ang gusto kong mangyari, di ba? Eh, hindi naman nangyari. So, for me, importante na maging malaya kayo, just find yourself. Yeah. Now, I end up with three semi-cycles. We're all confused. We're all completely different. Don't look alike. <laughs> yeah. You allow people to be themselves. It's hard. It's not so easy. So, I what did now. you learn now? No, I, I know now that parenting is not about, you know, really guiding and showing somebody the world. It's just kind of nudging the peripheral, you know, trying to find and help them see the things that hopefully they, they need to see and the things they need to do. And yeah, that's I don't know. About. I think babies are born with their own personality. Super. Parang bumbo na sila lumalabas eh. Yeah. Ang gagawin mo na lang eh, tutulungan mo. Yung magagandang parte at yung mahihinang parte eh, medyo taray-taray ng konti. Tama ba? I hope so. So this is not the best guidebook for parenting for mga strictong magulang. <laughs> Pero nakachamba naman yata. Okay naman sila. <laughs> you manage. Ayan! Narinig na ninyo yung pinakabunso. Ngayon, pinagtatanggol ang sarili ng aming manong, si Kuya Borgi. Ngayon, yung gitna naman, yung mahiwagang middle child ay kailangan nating interviewin. So see you soon! Music